Hello All Blacks fans. Why changing All Blacks eligibility would be so detrimental to New Zealand rugby? If you don't want to miss this and other news, subscribe to the channel now so that YouTube continues to send you the news that I bring you daily about the All Blacks. Now let's get the news. New Zealand rugby have remained resolute in their stance as the Southern Hemisphere nation with the strictest eligibility when it comes to selection for their national team, as All Blacks selection is limited to players competing in domestic competitions. That being said, the question is being asked and players are reportedly receiving a more open-minded tone from NZR in contract negotiations. The All Blacks rugby championship rivals have each adopted more inclusive eligibility rules that sees each of the Tier 1 sides take the field with foreign-based players, allowing their biggest talents to take up high-paying contracts overseas without compromising international competitiveness. While those fellow Southern Hemisphere nations have differing specifics, a threshold of 30 caps is currently the magic number for players to have completed before they can take advantage of the inclusive rule. Former Crusaders halfback Bryn Hall is currently playing for Shizuoka Blue Revs in Japan's top league, he says international experience would be crucial if New Zealand rugby were to adopt less strict eligibility laws. If you're an experienced person and have a very professional understanding of what it looks like for you week to week, Hall explained on the Aotearoa Rugby Pod. You could probably get away with it. The pace over here is very quick, but the physicality and I guess level or standard is a little bit lower than your super rugby. It does take players a bit of time to acclimatize back into that high tempo, high physicality, and be able to play at that level. Were experience at the top level not required for all blacks eligibility, it could be hugely detrimental to the whole rugby ecosystem in New Zealand according to Hall's fellow podcast panelist James Parsons. Definitely not, Hall said in response to the question of whether he would have hung around in Super Rugby for as long as he did if there was the potential to still be selected for the All Blacks while playing overseas on a bigger contract. Parsons elaborated on why that is so dangerous for the local game, that's a six-time title winning number nine, that you want teaching the next level, going back to Harbour. Obviously we want to keep the best players, I want to keep them as well. But, the flow-on effect can impact our whole rugby ecosystem, which would need a rethink. Do you think the eligibility rule to play for the All Blacks should change? Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any All Blacks news. Leave your comment below. Your opinion is very important for All Blacks. I'll be back soon with more news.